Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're going to be doing a quick, easy dish that you all can do at home. And the only spice is the secret spice that we're going to need, and that is teriyaki. Teriyaki. It's got everything in there that you really need for this dish right here. We're going to be doing up some nice red peppers. So go out to your garden and start harvesting. It's harvest time. Couple of onions, that's all we need. Two cups of rice. Rice is, well, what is it folks? Put it in the comments below what rice is. It's the number one, well, you guessed it. And we're also gonna be adding two cans of fajita beef strips that you can buy in your store. They're pretty seasoned, they're already cooked, so all we have to do is warm these up put this dish together and you guys are going to love this so we're going to get cooking here and here we go you all just stay tuned all right our rice is just about done so we're going to kill our heat and at this point what we want to do is this is still hot take your uh, take your teriyaki all right take the teriyaki here and we're gonna add the teriyaki to the rice we're gonna be adding a little bit of this teriyaki to the other things first I like to get the rice part done first <clears throat> it just makes my life a lot easier so as you all can see, and then we just start stirring this up a little bit. Then you want to incorporate it pretty good. Try to get it all in there, mixed very well. Everything else. And this way here, everybody gets a bite. Nobody gets a plain bite of just, yo, I didn't have any teriyaki. Oh. So you want to mix it up real quick so it looks just like that. And that can just sit there until we're ready for it. I'm gonna get these things here sauteing. Now, having two spatulas when you're doing this really makes things a lot easier. And you notice, you know, it's not a lot of oil in here. And then we're going to add our meat. The meat is pre-cooked, almost forgot. Add a little salt and pepper. Every prepper should have salt and pepper. We're gonna stock anything as salt and pepper, folks. So now we just have to let this cook and we'll be right back. All right, at this point here, these things are nice and sauteed. They're doing really well, but we don't add teriyaki yet. Teriyaki goes on last because teriyaki has a tendency to burn. So what we're gonna do now is put the meat on. And as you can see, we put that meat on, it comes out of the can, it's pretty tender, folks. Now I did strain that off in a strainer. I do not use the juices from this. Just strain it off, and now we want to incorporate this and have it all come together so that we can have our meal going here. And we're gonna add the star ingredient 
here in just a few minutes once we get this here all warmed up and ready to go oh yeah baby look at that just lovely and it smells absolutely delicious absolutely delicious now don't go anywhere yet because we're going to let this warm up just a little bit and I'm going to come back we're going to add the secret sauce start putting this together and also tell you exactly how you can enter in to win the giveaway this Saturday night stay tuned folks all right folks it's time to add the star of the show teriyaki teriyaki Just a little bit, a little bit of flavor. Now, once you add this teriyaki, we are done cooking. Turn your heat off. Turn the gas off. There we go. She's done cooking. She can sit here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to move on over and we're going to start getting this all plated up into a dish. Here we go. We just have to spoon out our rice into our bowl here. That was pretty simple, huh? All right, now let's move over and let's get the good stuff on here. All right, it's time to get the good stuff aboard. Yes, sir. -y. We're gonna just drill this out. Now, this should feed roughly between four and six people. Obviously, you're going to get most of your filling from the rice, but that's the idea. Now, earlier in this video, if you want to know how you're going to enter, earlier in this video, folks, I did mention something about, about rice. And what is rice to a prepper? I want you to put in the comments below what rice is to a prepper. And let's see who gets what I'm thinking right that doesn't mean that you're going to not win if you do not I'll, the random picker will do all the picking but there may be a special little piece for anybody that gets what I'm thinking right now as you can see our dish is pretty much done but you know what I like to kick things up a notch. So let's do this. So if you guys go out in your garden, and everybody, you can grow. You can get wild onions. Some of this we just don't want, we'll throw in there. You get some wild onions. Um, maybe you grow these scallions yourself. They grow pretty easy. You can grow these in pots on your back porch just so you all do know that and I'll save those for dinner for later but then we just take these and BAM there we go folks you tell me that just doesn't look delicious and that's how you cook with your preps, folks. That is exactly the way you need to do it. Everybody can uh, do this, it's very simple. So just to recap here, folks, I mean, this has been a great little dish that you can do. It's very simple, very easy to do. You can do it on a flat top, you can do it on a stove, do it in a cast iron fire on, on your Coleman stove. All you need is a two cans of 
beef, whether it be a uh, fajita or just a roast beef, one or the other, both will work. You could even use chicken in this dish, but I want to do something different because I haven't used this yet. So we did the, the beef. We had three red peppers, two onions, a dash of salt and pepper, a little bit of oil and teriyaki sauce with a little bit of scallions on the top. And it just turned out to be a wonderful, wonderful dish for you and your family. So that, oh, we lost a piece. Oh, tender, 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 tender. Very tender. I tell you what, you don't even need a knife with that. Very, very tender piece of meat. And you'll be entered in to win for the giveaway on tomorrow night's video. Also, if somebody gets what I'm thinking right, I will let you know that person will also win a prize as well. I will post my comment about 7 o'clock on Saturday night and we'll see who gets it right. I'll have to go through the comments and see if I can find anybody that gets what my answer is to what is rice to a prepper. So thank you for joining me on this video today. I really do appreciate it. I thank you for all that you do for my channel. I thank you for all the videos that you guys like and you guys subscribe. Everybody seems to be liking some of these cooking videos so you can see what you can cook with your preps because some people just don't know. They put all this stuff up and how do I cook with it? So I showed you how to cook on a Coleman stove. I got a flat top out, showed you how to use that. It's just like cooking inside, only like right now I'm doing it in my garage and it's like a hundred and some odd degrees out here. But I'll sweat for you if it means that, you know what? You learned something from my video. So until next time, folks, you all stay safe, keep prepping, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.